Hello everyone, welcome to VoIP Knowledge. Please subscribe the channel and share the video. So today I have GWN7664 ELR which has 2.5G Ethernet and SAP port. So now I'm showing you features and options in the success points. So let's get login the device. So now I'm entering the details. So we have logged in the device and we can see here the status of AP clients and channel distribution and in the access point status and configuration we can modify some settings in the access points. So we can modify particular devices wise. Now in the SSID option. We have already created a SSID and it supports 2.4 and 5 GHz client IP assignment, bridge and net mode and security mode. You can see here all the latest security modes are available. It supports Mac based radius, captive portal, Mac filtering, whitelist, blacklist. So in, as well it supports client isolation and other features which are common in all the access points. Now the new feature is multi VLAN. So we can set VLAN ID for individual access points in the SSID so that they can broadcast particular VLAN IP on the client side. Now in the client we can see the client status and in access list we can create MAC listing for white listing and blacklist. We can assign time policies as well. We can define bandwidth rules so clients can get the same speed. So if we add here so we can select a SSID based client based and we can define the upload and download limit here and it supports PBSK and in captive portal we have all the options like before access points and now in radio option we can prioritize bands we have similar options like uh, older access points 20, 20, slash 40 and 40 megahertz band and in 5 gigahertz we have new 160 megahertz channel with option as well and in security option we have all the options like older access points, rogue AP, firewall, ARP attack defense, ND attack defense Now in service option we have hotspot 2.0 same as before access points and DSCP server so we can create DSCP scope, net pool and define static DSCP MAC based and in system setting option we can define settings and in the account mode we can change the password of admin and user and similarly we can create mass and in maintenance option we can upgrade the firmware of the access points and can also reset from here or we can download the configuration similarly we have alert options so we can define the alert for particular modules and in the overview we can see AP options and we can see top APs top SSIDs Thank you for watching this video, please subscribe.